Good morning. It is 42 degrees outside. Had an awesome sleep. Uh, very nice shelter. And uh, the water's a little downhill, but it's super close. And today we're going to go 9.9 .9 miles to, I think it's Chairback Gap Lean To. It's roughly 2,000 foot elevation gain uh, and loss, so it's way easier than uh, what was yesterday and uh, maybe a little easier than some of the other days too but not the easiest about halfway through uh be hitting a crossing by golf Haggis, and the roadrunner might or might not be there we'll see and then uh from there i get to uh push over the chairbacks i might push into them a little bit depending on uh, how i'm feeling when i get up to the next lean to Another very easy crossing. At a uh, water crossing, it's pretty easy rock hop, and a point one blue blaze down to Screw Auger Falls in Gulf Haggis. Definitely worth the side trail. Uh, hardly even downhill. So I'm going to get right back up and keep on moving. Beautiful, beautiful falls. These trees are big. It's really wide. Oh, I don't know. All right, it's about a hundred feet wide, and there's water in it, although it's not super deep. I'm gonna read some of the comments and far out and see if this is the easiest spot or if there's a slightly drier spot maybe down that way a little. Because I don't feel like getting wet. But if I have to, so be it. All right, so it looks like it's gonna be a fording. So I'm gonna take my shoes off, pull everything out from them. the insoles out and just use the shoes also take my socks off and the pants will go too doesn't look that deep, but I don't want to get one. These shoes, the, uh, where are they? Lone Peak 8s by Ultra. There's like hardly any absorbent cloth on them at all. They're mostly plastic. So I figure if I take everything out, they will stay dry.
not seen anybody since I started this hike. It's been very quiet. I guess this is the spot to cross. I looked in the far out comments and it doesn't look like there's any place further north or south where it's shallower or more rocks. So I'll just go with this. Oops. All right, let's do it. how futile this is or not. Trying to not step in. It looks like it is slightly less than shin deep. Oh, I really don't want to step in this water. The bottom is slipperier than snot. It's not too bad. Mid shin. It feels Oh, it's a little deeper over here. Maybe I'll go left. Oh, it's even deeper here. It's almost up to my knee. Oh my god. Alright, it's starting to get cold. Maybe I'll move faster. Mm. I don't want to fall in this stuff. Slippery. Slippery, splashy, slippery, splashy. Slippery, splashy. Oh, that sucked. Alright. I'm out. Oh, it feels so much warmer out here. It's a balmy 40. Another thing I'm really happy about, these in Jinji socks. Uh, I've been wearing the wool ones. And I like them, but they seem to wear out a little bit. These are the synthetic ones. They're working out really well. They stink a little bit. But here's my feet after, shoot, I'm almost out of the 100 mile. And I got nothing. Um, I'm, I'm like I haven't even hiked at all. So I'm really happy with my shoe sock combination. So I'm going to stick with that for a while. I heard Roadrunner and the Gray Jay were stopping by for lunch. I think I'll wait here for them. Short days and long shadows. Oh, come on, bitches. Right before bedtime. Oh, my God. Oh, that's total New Hampshire BS. Here we go. Oh, I've got to say, coming up. That sucked so bad. I was hoping to get to the shelter before dark, too. That was like, New Hampshire steep. That's ugly. Ugh. Now I'm up at the top. That was something. Ooh, it's nice. Made it to the chair back gap lean to. Oh, I've never been so happy to see. 
a shelter and look a place to put my food and maybe even my pack luxury boy I tell you what they really 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 made me work for this one this was a super tough climb up to get here the things perched like on the side of the mountain and the uh, trail goes right up next to it but boy getting up here was something else mm -mm -mm. yum that's what's for dinner also made some chicken and rice that's what i've been eating for dinner just that mountain house comes in a big can I split it up got my little sterno inferno stove with the mod plate and uh, uh this is the horn from a boat air canister it actually fits these uh msr canisters and that is uh to scare the bears away yeah let's talk about that easy 9.9 .9 mile day not so much the uh last mile or so was white mountain style rocks kind of straight up hand over hand rock climbing kind of thing not super long section but it was enough right at the end of the day to kind of pop my bubble uh rest of the day was beautiful border crossing not so bad uh you know just below knee deep in some places but overall pretty good Gray J stopped by with the Roadrunner, got some uh, Subway sandwiches for lunch, and split it in half, ate part of that for dinner. And uh, yeah, feeling pretty good. So tomorrow, I had a long day scheduled. It was supposed to be like 15.8 miles. Judging by the last mile I just went through, maybe not, we'll see. Uh, if I can do it, I'll push through. If not, I'll stop probably around 10 or 12 and then uh, make it like a longer day in the months and the day after that.